Your students page contains a list of all your students. It can be accessed by clicking on students located on the main navigation menu. When you first go to this screen, it will ask you to add students. You can do this manually or via an Excel import. Let's create our first record. Enter the student's full name and other relevant fields. Quick Schools does not separate the student's name into separate first and last names. So if you prefer to sort by last name, be sure to format the full name as last name first, followed by a comma, followed by the first name. Click Add Student when you're done. Once your first record is created, you can then click on it and enter additional data. Notice the additional tabs along the top. Click Add Student to enter additional students. This button is only available to school administrators. To import from Excel, click on the Import from Excel button. Click on Choose File, then click Browse. Finally, select a file from your local machine and click Open to select the file. Once the file is selected, the system will ask you to match the columns in your Excel file with the fields in the Quick Schools database. Simply select a match from the available dropdowns. You'll see that some of the fields here have already been matched because the columns in my Excel file have the same name as the fields in the database. You can use our sample Excel file to avoid having to manually match the fields from the dropdown. When you're done, click Import. The system will indicate the number of records that were successfully imported across the top. When a student leaves, you can deactivate the student record. Open the student record, click on the Admin tab, and then click on Student has left. Finally, click on Update Student to save. You'll notice that the student disappears from my screen. However, if you click on Advanced Search, you can use these additional fields to access an inactive student record. To reactivate the student record, go back to the Admin tab and click on Re-register Student, and then Update Student. The student record has now been reactivated.